Hi Cancer, how's it going? And welcome to your mid-December general reading. This is for Cancer Sun, Moon Rising, and Venus, or if you're interested in a Cancer, welcome all. I am so grateful and glad that you're here. Cancer, if you'd like to join us for your love reading, that's where we connect with the other person you're dealing with in love, romance, relationships. Your love reading is always the first link in the description box below. Also, Cancer, don't forget to stick around until the end of the reading where I pick one of your names at random for the pick a card, okay? It could be you this time. I don't know. I'll have to wait to the end to see who wins the pick a card drawing this time. All right, my loves. Cancer, how are you? Again, this is your mid-December general reading. Okay, we're going to do a Celtic cross. Got two more. Spirit, what are the best and highest messages for Cancer? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, mid December. Hmm. All right, beautiful. We got some wishes and dreams coming true here. Um, wish fulfillment energy of the Nine of Cups, water energy. Some of you could be connecting with some other water signs Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is feeling really good in your own skin, feeling really happy overall about you, about where you're at emotionally, feeling great, feeling like single ready to mingle for some of you. Um, but this is like really happy, really wonderful fulfillment within you emotionally. And when you get in this energy, that's when things come to you. So this is a wish fulfillment energy as well. I also literally hear some of y'all going, yes, like I did it. Or it could also be a pers personal accomplishment as well. Ooh, King of Pentacles behind you. Um, it could be something career-based, family-based, and you're just feeling really, really good. This is really, with the King of Pentacles behind that, Cancer, that is so good, super abundant. Um, and I really feel like for a lot of you, you've been very patient for something, and that's why the yes is coming in. Because the King or Queen of Pentacles represents knowing your worth and being very patient to wait for the right thing, okay? The right one. That seems to be what's going on here. Beautiful. What's going on with cancer, please? Yeah, you're literally in it going in a new direction right now. Beautiful. You have the two of wands. I love this card. Fire energy. Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Tower. Things are really, really um, moving and shaking right now. This is a lot of uh, shifts, huge, huge changes when we see the tower, like major changes, <laughs> like I don't even know how to describe just like huge changes in career in relationship um but i feel like you you've been ready for this like you're prepared with that nine of cups king of pentacles energy you've been preparing for this shift for this change for this new horizon new you even two of wands is also a contract coming in okay so take that how it applies where you would be maybe leaving something behind to take on a new something a new situation a new contract Okay, so you're you're hung up about it. You have the hangman. This is also water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I kind of put the hangman with all the water signs together, um, just personally. But anyways, uh, this is crossing you. This is what's helping you or hindering you. And I feel like you are taking your really, really sweet time in a good in a good way. You're taking your sweet time is what I'm hearing to make this decision. And that is super, super good because that king of pentacles energy is you're very grounded you're being very practical maybe in the past and whatever this is for you you would jump into something but something here today seems like this is really good this feels really good nine of cups but i don't want to make the same mistakes i did in the past so i'm just going to make sure that whatever this is is for me for my best and highest good beautiful Ah, and I see the Wheel of Fortune here. So this is definitely once you make that decision and figure out um, the direction that you're going to take here, boom. Whatever decision you make, it's going to get you out of the hangman energy. Things are going to move very, very quickly. What's the focus here for Cancer, please? <laughs> Cute. You have the Page of Cups. Okay, again, Water Energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio with the Ten of Cups. Beautiful. Your focus is love, maybe someone new, something new. Um, I also feel like this family energy too of you being happy, you being in the energy of love, kind of wearing your heart on your sleeve, being your beautiful, 
Cancerian self, okay? And that's calling in what? Your tribe, your Ten of Cups, other people who, you know, operate like you, operate from love, okay? I also feel too with this page of cups that some of you are getting a love offer. And when you get that, that's what's kind of spinning you in. Is this someone that, that's, oh my God. Yeah, they didn't want me to say that. I was gonna, I'm gonna say it anyways. Uh, ooh. This is someone that's maybe at a distance from you. Yeah, that you're making a huge decision or they're making a huge decision. Yeah, whoa, the cards literally went everywhere. So yeah, for some of you, when the cards do that, just kind of go messy like that, that's just like, oh my gosh, like everything's going on. That's like tower energy where it's just like, boom, 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 boom. Like everything's kind of feels all over the place, but also you're kind of okay with that because it's like stirring up some stagnant energy. That's what this is. This person or you, either one, Page of Cups, is stirring up something something within inside of you to kind of get you moving. Recent past, okay, you have the Page of Pentacles and it's coming towards you. So I do feel like there was an offer here, Ten of Swords. We'll see what that's about. So there was an offer made to you, but with the Ten of Swords, I don't know that you took the offer. If, especially if it's coming from Page Energy, you're like, well, thanks, but maybe no thanks. Um, what's crowning cancer here? Eight of pentacles. Beautiful. You know, right now and whatever the situation is that you're going to stay focused on you. You're not going to worry too much about anyone else involved. There's something about you staying in your lane, you focusing on your health, wealth, your energy, your career. Very, very good. Seven of pentacles. You're working really, really hard. Um, You're working really, really hard to get this moving faster is what I was going to say. And then the Wheel of Fortune came out. Okay. I also feel because this Wheel of Fortune, this is your future energy. In your near future, you have the Wheel of Fortune. I'm going to take one more with that. Boom. Nine of Pentacles. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, High Priestess. You are very, very much in your independent energy. I feel like also... Real quick, another message I'm picking up on. In the recent past cancer with this page of pentacles, it seems like you learned something. That you're the student and you figured something out. And you're like, okay, now how do I incorporate what I've just learned recently? How do I incorporate that into my day-to-day -day life? Okay? And that, that's also, for some of you, what you're working on. How to show up. How to, I don't know. It's like all crown energy as well even though this is pentacles, it's coming through with something that you learn, some knowledge that you have, something you learned about yourself. And you're like, okay, now that I know this, I'm going to incorporate this into my day to day. And it's going to actually help you re like very, very much. We have the wheel of fortune with the nine of pentacles. For some of you, it's like starting your own business. We're going to take it. Um, Okay, they want this one with your future energy, Three of Pentacles, and this is your power, the Death card and the Ace of Cups. Wow. Scorpio energy with the Death card. Again, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You have, it's like you're hiring. You're hiring in your life right now. Hiring, maybe for real, at like a new, you're hiring a crew, um, that kind of thing in work and career, but you're also, it's like you're interviewing people. You're, you're sizing people up, and I don't mean that in a bad way you are in the energy of so much love right now cancer it's actually so beautiful that um you're literally with its death card behind the ace of cups you're not the same person that you used to be you don't show up in relationships the way that you used to and that's what's changing in your life and that's your power your power is the ace of cups is to show up unconditional and the only way that you can show up unconditional is when you learn to love yourself unconditional, which is why this also transformation card is here. Beautiful. Um, so again, also definitely in love and relationships, um, there is something coming in for you specifically with the page of cups and the ace of cups. That's new energy, a new person, a new friend, a new romance, a new partner. Please take it how it resonates. This is a general reading. But for a small group of you with a death card here too, this is something, this would be someone coming back from the past that you've already ended it with. Okay, so please take that again how it resonates. We have the magician here. Either you call this in or maybe them, but I feel like you've manifested this. There was something that 
you, yeah, you've learned probably in relationships where like, you know what, the way I do this or the way I operate or something there, that doesn't really work for me and I see that now. So I'm gonna work really hard to master my energy. And as soon as you do, boom, 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 you're so radiant, you're so independent that everyone wants to be on your team. Everyone wants to raise you up. Oh, what's Cancer doing? What ideas do they have? I wanna be a part of that. Again, if that's career, if it's people coming to you like, Cancer, how did you, I don't know, how did you transform? People wanna know what you're doing on how you became so amazing right now. Everyone's like asking me that question, how did you do it? How did you do it? Like that's what I, that's what I feel for y'all right now. <laughs> of course, we're gonna go deeper and clarify in just a minute what's hidden from Cancer, please. Communication coming in big time. This is my social media card, eight of wands, eights, rep eights represent a new cycle as well. There's that king of pentacles again. So this could be hearing, is this really good news, really positive news from getting a loan, something that you need for a house, for a mortgage, something big like that, a property. This is good news around family. This is good news around, if this is about love for you, this is someone very, very stable, abundant, a provider, Beautiful, either way you slice it, this is really, really beautiful. And it's coming in as like, I just immediately heard good news, good news. Seven of swords and your hopes and fears. You're hoping that what you hear is the truth and not a lie, okay? Yeah, five of swords. You've had conflict in this situation or with this person before. Uh, King of wands fell on the floor. I don't know why I needed to say that. Queen of Wands was there too. Yo. Y'all. Ooh. That's a lot for the outcome, but the star was there. Um. Oh, shit. This came up in your pre-shuffle. Oh my God. Some of y'all are going to have an op two option options between two people. King of Cups, King of Swords came out in your outcome. <sighs> I knew there was a bunch of kings coming out for you. You have the four of wands at the bottom of the deck. Commitment, relationship, union, marriage for some of you. It's a commitment, it's a commitment card, okay? So in the outcome, you have the king of cups and the king of swords. And that's why there's something, something seems a little bit fishy here because in the seven of swords is in your hopes and fears. You're hoping that whatever this, you're hoping that whatever this conversation that you have with this king of swords or king of cups, you're like, are you telling me the truth? Are you sure? Don't lie to me. Um, for a lot of you, this is gonna be a choice between two people and or I feel like this is the good news you're hearing so that something can develop into King of Cups energy, a relationship, okay? And I say definitely relationship commitment because the King of Cups and the Four of Wands is like happy, healthy, nurturing, happy home. You know what I mean? You've been really, 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 really been working through some deep pain recently, Cancer. Um, you have felt very, with the Strength card and the King of Wands and the Three of Swords behind this Four of Wands, you, and probably not a lot of people know this, but you have really been triggered recently with this energy, but you're handling it. You're handling it. And also the Four of Wands, you have people coming in, but even, even if not, you are in union with yourself. You are committing to yourself, to your dreams, your goals, your desires, no matter how hard you get triggered, okay? Because this is a healing opportunity for you as well and probably to heal with somebody else. There's also a twin flame card as well, four of wands. You have the three of cups behind this as well. There will be celebrations uh, mid-December. And I don't mean just because it's the holidays, but for you specifically, for something that you're going through, something that you're going to celebrate for you or about you specifically, you're, you will be celebrated. And you're going to want to celebrate you because you're doing the work. This isn't your crowning energy. This is big. This is huge. Nothing can stop you now. You, you know that you're the prize. You're the one. The better that you can be in your health, mentally, physically, spiritually, the more you focus on you, the better the, better the outcome. People are flocking to you once you make this change. For some of you too, it could have been an offer in the recent past. We're obviously going to clarify. It could be an offer, but it also again feels like something that you learned. This communication is going to come in real hot and fast with the eight of wands. 
But with the Seven of Swords, you're like, man, I really hope that I can trust this. So some of you have been working through some trust issues with others, but the best way to work through trust issues is to learn how to trust yourself. If you say, I'm gonna do blah, 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 X, Y, Z tomorrow, make sure you do X, Y, and Z tomorrow. It's just like, for example, say the boss is like, hey, Cancer, I need you to come in an hour or two early tomorrow. Think you can do that? Okay, Cancer, probably say yes. Okay, no problem. But if you yourself asked you to do X, Y, and Z, hey, I also need you, like you telling yourself, um, hey, Cancer, hey, myself, Tomorrow you're also going to make a home cooked meal and also relax at the end of the day, like no matter what, no more chores or whatever. I'm just using this for example. Well, make sure you do that. Don't cheat yourself and go order food or like whatever. Do what you, you said you were gonna do. I'm just, I'm just using general things for an example. That's like the basis of this reading for a lot of you. That's like the root of what's going on here. You've learned to have more respect for yourself. Congratulations. You know your worth or you're coming into knowing your worth. It's okay. It's okay to be the student. It's all right. You're still learning. You're so giving. You're so nurturing. I'm hearing expectations too. A lot of you have really worked on, I don't want to say releasing high, like having high expectations, but kind of. For some of you, you have disappointed yourself in the past by putting too much of your heart on the line. Too much of your, too many eggs in one basket. Do you know what I mean? And I feel like for a lot of you, that's what you're learning. When something new shows up, instead of going all the way in super, super quick, do we match? Do I like them? That's the question here. Do I like them? It's The, the energy no more is do they like me? Am, am, am I good enough? We're out of that energy. This is about, huh, do, would, would I want to work with them? Would I want to go on a date with them? Would I want to connect with them? How do I feel about them? These are the big ticket questions that you're asking yourself right now. Beautiful. Let's go deeper and clarify. Outcome is amazing. You got two kings. You got two choices. Go cancer. <laughs> Um, and yeah, for some of you too, in your power, I mean, that's it right there. The death card and the ace of cups too. For some of you with two options, one might be completely like, okay, this is done. This is toast. This is like, we're not doing this. But then with someone else, you're just like, all right, my energy's free now. I'm going to commit to this other thing or other person. So it feels very, uh, juicy to be honest, cancer, uh, bottom of the deck in your pre-shuffle, you do have the three of pentacles. Um, with the death card, again, strong emphasis on Scorpio for a lot of you. Um, Three of Pentacles is showing up again as you and a group of people that do want to build or rebuild a situation. So you're definitely, again, going back to the beginning, Two of Wands, Hangman. That's why you're taking your sweet time to make sure that this situation, person, transition, whatever is the best for you because in the two of wands you are holding the world in your hands you've been through something like this before so you're a pro now you're a pro now and that that two of wands you're looking right at that page of pentacles like asking yourself did i learn the lesson Boom, full card on your two of wands. Beautiful, those go hand in hand together. This is you initiating a fresh, brand new chapter in your life. You're on the fool's mission again. You are, it's like a whole new life, a whole new you. Um, and the full card, again, it, I don't think it gets enough credit as it, it, it involves taking a huge risk. What's the risk? What's the risk? leaving the other thing behind, leaving the old behind, leaving what doesn't serve you behind. Okay. I'm hearing not over giving, not over giving. I love this card in this deck, six of pentacles. It's one of my favorite cards, but in this deck, I really love it because this is about a, per a personal win, personal accomplishment. Okay, you feel so good in your own energy. Look at you, hands up, feeling good, like dancing, laughing, feeling amazing, in balance and in tune with yourself. Man, nothing else feels better, right? Nothing else feels better. King of Cups is right here. You really have also worked on getting your emotions 
um, I don't want to say under control so much, but understanding your emotions, understanding why you do feel the way you feel. Okay, we have the Prince of Swords also with this Two of Wands energy and the Ace of Swords. I feel like once you know your truth, this Ace of Swords, once you've made up your mind and have that aha moment on whatever this is, also this is a communication card probably coming in, communication, also with the Prince of Swords, fast communication, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius for some. This is a really fast moving energy. What is this message about Prince of Swords? You have the Four of Cups. Okay, so that is a confirmation for me on something you're leaving behind. You're leaving behind um, situations probably with people that aren't fulfilling for you, that leave you kind of doom and gloom, where you kind of, whatever you're saying, whatever you're providing, it's like they feel really, really good and like, oh, Cancer, I'm so glad I saw you. I'm so glad that I saw you, da, 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 da. And then when you leave that person, you're fucking drained, okay? Um, because I don't want to say you're necessarily around energy vampires, but you're so empathic and so, um, you soak up energy, you soak up emotions like a sponge. I'm a cancer rising. I fucking get it. So I do feel like you are kind of coming out of this inconsistent, like bored state where four of wands, you're going to be in union with yourself. You, you're literally transforming everything about the way that you think. For some of you also, that Knight of Swords and the Four of Cups is something you're leaving behind. Um, having racing thoughts and kind of uh, having negative thoughts about friends, family, all that kind of thing, okay? So we're leaving, it's like a, a lot of mental, uh, again, I don't know if there's a lot of pentacles here, but there's a lot of mental energy going on up here, okay? Let's look at your hangman energy on why, why you feel maybe hung up here. But this is you kind of seeking more information to make sure that this is for you. Same cards again, almost. So we have the High Priestess, the Eight of Pentacles, which is above you, and the Nine of Swords. The second that you go back to your old pattern, the second that you go back to comparing yourself, the second you go back to not being in laser beam focus on whatever you're focused on, you're going to stress yourself out. The Eight of Pentacles is huge here, showing up twice. This is about really you focusing hard on the things that bring you the most joy, whatever that is. For some of you too, I'm getting like a deeper message, like you're really about to step into like your soul's purpose, your soul's path in regards to a career situation. Yeah, four of pentacles, the hermit, and they have the ace of swords. I feel like for a lot of you too, you like, it's like counsel or therapy energy where everything that you've been through, you're just like, you know what? Well, I, I have the power and the knowledge and the patience and the sensitivity to help others that have been through what you have been through. So it's kind of like, you're the guru, you're the teacher, you're the, you know, you're the one that people are coming to. I can't, I can't. Clarifying your page of cups, you got the queen of pentacles, I told you, something that was worth the wait, then you have the devil and the tower, holy shit. This devil is obsessed with you, Capricorn energy. Someone is literally obsessed. Um, and when they come in, this is going to change the rest of your life. This is the big, this is big. These are two, to me, two of the biggest energies in the, in the major arcana. Whoo. Someone has been waiting to change your life. Knight of Cups. Lots of cups coming in here. Lots of romance, lots of love, lots of meeting new people, new friends. Uh, I'm sorry, but what is this devil and tower together on this page of cups? Seven of Pentacles. Someone's been waiting to make this move. Someone's been waiting to reach out to you. There it is again, Three of Pentacles. Someone wants to probably rebuild a situation with you. Um, for some of you, this is getting like your dream job. And you're going to be really, really abundant in it. You're going to be like very 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 well off if this is about your career 
I'm looking at the devil, five of wands, five of cups, 10 of cups. It's gonna be competitive. If this is about career or people, it doesn't matter. That energy is telling me that people are literally fighting to be with you, fighting to be on your team, fighting to work with you. Like, and that's why, that's why I said in the near future, it's like you're hiring. It's like the energy of like, hey, I feel so good. And people are like, moss to the flame. I'm gonna come to cancer. I'm like, what are you doing? How did you do it? And you're just like, mm, let me show you. Let me tell you. Because <laughs> you've learned so much about yourself. And now people are obsessed with what you're doing, with your love, with your energy. You're about to have a shit ton of options for a lot of you. <laughs> What's this page of pentacles in the recent past? Prince of Wands, Temperance, Five of Wands. You did it. This is about you. This is about you learning that lesson. Exactly. Uh, five of Wands, Prince of Wands, Temperance. They want it like that. Okay. You've been fighting yourself a lot, Cancer, Five of Wands. You've been fighting yourself about, I don't know. I don't know about what. But you've learned how to temper your energy. Some of you, this is really, I'm not going to lie, some inconsistent, moody energy where someone's just, either you or someone else just flips on a dime almost. And it's like, I know I need to work on that. I know I need to get that under control. And that's what you've been learning, how to manage your actions, how to manage your behaviors. And some of you are like, well, I I'm a grown-ass woman. I'm a grown-ass man. You can still be a student. You can still learn to calm down. You can still learn to temper your energy. You can still learn how to communicate properly. You can still learn how to show up for yourself and not beat yourself up. This is all of this and that energy. Some of you have been beating yourself up for, I don't know, King of Wands or Prince of Wands, which is a Knight of Wands, it's something inconsistent. For some of you, you've been dealing with someone inconsistent in your recent past or multiple people that are just kind of in and out in and out in and out and that triggers the fuck out of any one of you who have abandonment issues that's big that's huge so for a lot of you you have been with the right people even though it hasn't felt that way because those are soulmates in your life that, that were meant to be placed in your life to be teachers for you to finally look at that mirror and go you know what I need to stop being like this or acting like this or saying this because it's not working for me anymore. This is where something that you don't like goes your way. I'm out. I'm done. It feels very hot and cold. Okay. Whether that's you, someone you've been dealing with, a situation that you've been in, you've learned it, you've seen it, you've seen it, you, you're learning it and you are processing still so that you can incorporate these, this new energy and this new way of showing up in your new life, in your new day-to-day, -day, Wheel of Fortune. And that is exactly what's getting the ball rolling. You are, you've learned so much about yourself and I'm so happy for you. So you're still gonna hustle and grind. You have the Eight of Pentacles in your crowning energy. Wheel of Fortune again, the Emperor, you are literally killing it. You're killing it. Woo, what the, f what the fuck? Oh my God. Holy shit, I just now put that all together. The Wheel of Fortune, someone's gonna work with you. Someone's about to match your energy, babes. You got the Emperor and the Empress clarifying your Eight of Pentacles, which is a new cycle. This could be someone you're meeting at work, maybe for some. Holy shit, when you work on you, someone sees that and they're like, oh my gosh, Cancer, you're doing so amazing. This is Emperor and this never comes out together like this, never. Hardly, I shouldn't say never, but hardly ever where they, we get the Empress and the Emperor and the Empress together with the Wheel of Fortune. This is karma. This is karma. This is karma. This is, this is major, major karma in a good way, right? Because you've changed your karma. You've changed your energy. And when you do that, the universe will show the fuck up for you. Boom. Partnership like community. I feel like also for some of you, you could be having like some help uh, from mom and dad <clears throat> or for like, I don't know, but this is truly you coming in, into your divinity and someone matching you in your divinity. This is insane. Woo. Wow. I was not expecting that. Holy shit. Okay. I'm going to clarify all your future energy together. Wheel of fortune, nine of pentacles, three of 
pentacles. That's where things are moving fast forward for you. You're single, ready to mingle. Even if those of you are not single, it's just the energy of like, I feel good. I'm independent. What's next? Who am I going to build with next? And they're coming to you. What is that for you? Told you y'all are about to have a shit ton of options. Seven of cups, seven of cups, four of pentacles. You're aligning with someone on a soul level. Hermit, Six of Swords, Queen of Swords. Someone's been thinking about, look at this Queen of Swords, the lovers in the background. Someone's been thinking about you as a partnership, okay? Hermit is here, Virgo energy, but this is really... Um, when you continue to heal yourself, others again are keep asking you, how did you do it? How did you become better? And also someone, someone specifically is very, very attracted to that. Um, and it feels very much like a soul calling. I keep hearing soul calling now. Prince of Pentacles, your guardian angels have been all over it. What's with the hermit here? Three of Pentacles again. So this is someone that wants to build or rebuild with you. You and them have gone into hermit mode, have pulled back from each other, from the situation, whatever. Learned what you need to learn have done the healing therapy meditation whatever very good what's this queen of swords strength card could be a leo but this is someone who really 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 um is going to be loyal uh, princess of wands and the sun card lots of fire energy someone who's very loyal they're very funny and hilarious with the page of wands like almost a comedian and with the sun card it's just going to be your happiest days <laughs> I mean, wow. All right, let's clarify this together. Why is the, this is your power, your position, your power energy? Death card, Ace of Cups, Cancer. Why is this here? Queen of Wands, Four of Wands, mm hmm. <gasps> I'm gonna, oh my God. Okay, these are two separate energies. Okay. For you, you are Queen of Wands, for a lot of you. I don't, you could have been dealing with a fire sign, but I'm picking up this as you kind of stepping into some like fiery, like I'm gonna put my foot down. I'm gonna take, make a move. <clears throat> um, you really are ending something with someone in a situation and, or this is also a message of ending. Um, it's almost like if, if this is talking about you, the queen of wands would be in reverse. We are, are letting go of irrational behaviors. Lovely. On your Ace of Cups, we have the Hierophant at the bottom of the deck looking right at your Ace of Cups. Hierophant is higher level commitment. Um, someone who wants to partner with you in love, probably marry you down the road, that kind of thing. It came out with the Queen of Cups and Justice. Justice and the Hierophant all day long. That's marriage, high level commitment. It's yours, it's also karma, it's meant to be. This is a sign to you, this is a new contract for you because you've won, you've mastered you. And are you perfect yet? No, and no one's ever gonna be perfect. But you've like, something has clicked and switched within you and that's why you're getting all of these blessings. Queen of Cups, no matter what, are you Queen of Cups? Yes, but you also have the King of Cups in the outcome. Do not forget, that's a soulmate couple. That's the Six of Cups grown up. It's so sweet. This is someone who wants to make things right with you also with the justice card, okay? Whether you have known them from the past or not, someone wants to make things right with you. They wanna be in balance with you and swing with you. Do you know what I mean? I'm hearing like they wanna swing through life with you. Like they wanna do life with you. And this is because this is you getting what you deserve. The best of the best. <laughs> All right, let's look at this communication energy. This is a, your hidden, uh, 
what's hidden from you. This could come through as a message. This person could be from afar a little bit from you, but I, y'all, I can't, I can't, I can't make it up. I told you, I told you. Um, just to make sure it is, it is. Um, this person could be at a distance from you, but also this is about Eight of Wands is rapid communication. It's very fun. It's like, hey, how are you? So good to hear from you or good to meet you. Like, duh, duh. And then just like the conversation is blah, 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 blah. It also represents, it's my social media card. Uh, I think I mentioned that earlier. So it could be something coming, like dropping in your messages, DMs, just FYI. Yeah, it's the Page of Cups, which was your focus card. Uh huh. Like when someone reaches out, you're going to be like, what? Oh my God. Judgment. This is a huge, 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 huge decision for this person to reach out to you. And this is also someone on, on your level, next level. Okay. <sighs> for Okay, now for a lot of you, this is probably someone who's literally been sick to their stomach and cannot literally... Go on without you. Five of pentacles with the ace of swords. Like they get it now. This is, this person is finally getting it. And this is a communication card. Why? They are like literally like not having it. They're not happy in their life. They feel lonely. Five of pentacles. Um, they feel lonely. They feel without. They feel abandoned out in the cold until they reach out to you. And they're like, duh, all I need to do is just call cancer, text them, message them, whatever. Boom. Princess of cups. And this deck, she has a ring on her finger. So this is really someone coming strong with a commitment as well. Three of wands, mm -hmm. this is what you've been waiting for. I just want to look real quick. I was like, let me take one more peek. What's with that princess of wands? It's, or princess of cups is the four of wands. So again, um, it's a commitment, like I said. Why is the seven of swords though? So this is where Seven of Swords is going to make you, whatever they're saying, whatever the communication, whatever the talking is, is you're kind of asking yourself in the back of your mind, can I trust this? But that's something that you've already worked on. So which one is it going to be? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Seven of Swords is here again. Okay. We have the Three of Pentacles out again, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Four of Swords. Just like I said at the beginning, if you want to trust this person, are you trusting yourself? Because these are all very, very solid, beautiful energies. Knight of Pentacles is here. That's a solid, steady person, solid, steady path, a job, a situation for the long haul, a relationship, a friendship for the long haul. Okay? Also, the Knight of Pentacles is your guardian angel showing up. I'll let you interpret that. Uh, three of pentacles again coming out with the four of swords this person has this person has been patiently waiting but also the way for you again to trust this is to go through not around don't because you have this you have the seven of swords again where you might potentially be like oh no i'm a little bit weirded out i'm just gonna ghost out no 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 that's what we used to do that's not what we do anymore for some of you, I really feel like you're gonna try to give this or this person a chance, okay? Outcome, King of Swords, King of Cups. I almost wanna pull, yeah, I know we're already at 38 minutes, but this is the last one for the year, so we're just gonna do it. I wanna get, two or three clarifiers on each one of these kings because they're both looking at you. They're both facing you. They're both coming forward. Who's this king of swords? Cancer. Magician, princess of, this is someone new. Princess of swords, princess of pentacles, magician, nine of cups. This would be a wish fulfillment for you. This is probably someone new that you've manifested that you are talking to, communicating with. Um, Y'all are learning about each other, getting to know each other. Y'all have manifested each other into your lives. What's this King of Cups for you? Eight of Cups, Prince of Cups. <gasps> this is about you. This is about you. You have the King of Cups again, okay? But the King of Swords again. Holy shit, with the water and air at the end here. Wow. It's like, 
head and the heart definitely got to come together and be in union here. And that's also your outcome and message. Eight of Cups, Prince of Cups, King of Cups. Clarifying the King of Cups. This is absolutely a loving, caring, emotionally available person or situation. I actually feel like these are blending together. I feel like um, for like 20% of you, you will tell this King of Swords to like probably go F off and go for them to go learn their lesson. But with this King of Cups energy, Eight of Cups, Knight of Cups, King of Cups, that person, and this could be you, take it how it resonates, either one, that person has done the fucking work. Eight of Cups is where they've been in a situation that's not serving them. I'm in a relationship I'm not happy in. I'm in a job setting I'm not happy in. I'm in a but location, environment, whatever. I'm not fucking happy here. So this person has traveled and moved forward with their own heart, putting their heart on their sleeve, being vulnerable, and that's attracting either you or you're attracting it. You're coming into a very beautiful match with somebody. King of Swords again at the bottom of the deck with the Five of Swords in reverse. This is gonna this is gonna clear up a bunch of conflict between you and somebody. Congratulations, this is really beautiful. Don't forget you have the Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck with another king behind you. Uh, <laughs> you have a lot of options over here, Cancer. <laughs> I love it. So, um, but the biggest biggest message again is yeah, the options are fun and all the things. Um, but the, the, the best option always at the end of the day is you is making sure that you're heard, that you're seen, that you're valued, that you're being respected. Okay. Because when you were not in the past, that was triggering a lot of you. Okay. That's that triggering energy that we were talking about. Keep going, take your time with it, do your healing, do your work. Because the more that you better yourself, the more you're healing and bettering the world. And you're also calling in higher vibrational soulmate connections. Gorgeous reading. We're going to do the pick a card. Thank y'all so much. This is our last reading that we're doing for the year uh, before we hit the new year. And just thank y'all so much for all of your love and support on my channel, um, supporting me, your likes, your comments, um, all that stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Okay. Um, Cancer, for the rest of you, if you want to do the love reading from your other person's perspective, that's the first link in the description box below. And the Cancerian that won this time is Myra O'Foot. I hope I'm saying your last name right. Myra, you are the one. So Cancer, if you want me to pick your card next time, just make sure you are subscribed to this channel and leave your name in the comment section down below. And next time I might pick you. If you celebrate the holidays, happy holidays. I love y'all. Thank you again for everything. I'll see y'all next time. I think it's Myra. Myra, right? Am I, saying, am I saying your name right? Yeah, Myra. This one and two more. Myra, thank you so much for being a subscriber. I hope you're doing well, my love. Let me do one more shuffle. I don't know why I looked, but the Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck to the devil. Oh my God. <laughs> Capricorn's card, 10 of wands. Someone I feel like is a little obsessed. Someone, someone has some very strong, strong energy towards you. Um, you could be in the devil energy where you're really obsessing over something or someone. Let's find out. Cause the Knight of cups was first. This feels very romantic. Devil is very, uh, it's big, it's big energy. It's a little obsessive energy, but it's also, I'm picking up for you specifically. Um, this is strong sexual energy. Nice. Okay, you are gonna receive a message. Bottom of the deck, you have the Page of Swords, Five of Wands, King of Pentacles. There's probably some cattiness around the workplace, maybe in the family. It also is the holidays, so take that how it applies. Um, Page of Swords, the bottom of the deck with that. You're the one, you're like the peacekeeper right now in whatever the situation is for you. Nine of Wands, pay, uh, Knight of Swords, 
the full three of cups emperor oh emperor then three of cups thank you there's about to be a celebration and potential reunion with a divine masculine maybe an aries double aries here with the full and emperor you might be dealing with an aries the this person wants a fresh start with you but you are kind of not really feeling it nine of wands you've been very hurt your walls are up either from this person or just kind of in general with whatever you've been going through. But there will be in this situation, it ends in the Three of Cups, which is celebration energy. I'm not picking up third party at all. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. I'm not picking that up today. I'm literally picking up like, oh my gosh, this is great. Like, I'm gonna go celebrate, go have, you know, a cocktail or, I mean, I don't know. I'm not suggesting for you to drink if you don't drink, but you know what I'm saying. This is like very, I mean, they're raising their glasses. This is like, woohoo, like very good energy. So, um, and I feel like this person or this situation, this emperor energy, whoever this is for you, because we're about to clarify, is kind of um, breaking you out of your shell a little bit. Because I feel like your walls have been up, like, oh, this is too, this is too dramatic. This is too much conflict here. Um, it's too much, yeah, I'm just hearing drama, drama, drama. And you're like, I don't like the drama. I don't want to be a part of that. I feel you, girl. What's this nine of wands for you? Oh yeah. Oof. Oh yeah. Aw, six of cups, seven of cups, five of cups. Um, this could be about children, maybe, but I really feel like this is about a soulmate connection that you've had, someone you've probably known or given multiple chances to. You might have actually been a little off and on with this person, um, but you've known them either like since your childhood or for like a really long amount of time, I feel like. Um, this is probably with the six of six of cups and the nine of wands specifically. This is a past life person or situation for you. Seven of cups, five of cups. This person has continuously, whoever you're dealing with, because six of cups, there's two people. Um, whoever you're dealing with, they have disappointed you and made, disappointed you multiple times. And you're just like, I don't have any more tears to dry <laughs> or to cry is what I just heard. Or to dry. Either way, I guess. Um, but behind you in this five of cups, um, three are spilt over, two are still standing up that you can't see. So you have to let go and process this. Um, but then you have a message coming in. What's this knight of swords? Oh, you have the hangman. You're chill and healing. Uh, and then you have a knight of pentacles, two of pentacles, four of swords. It's a very slow moving energy. Um, knight of pentacles is a love offer. This is someone that is coming in very stable, very steady. They're coming in slow, but they do have a lot of um, love for you, a lot of attraction towards you. You're going to have to kind of kick back and pull back and think about this, this situation, this offer, this person. But why is the two of pentacles here for you? Page of wands. Feels like something new. Why is the fool here for you? Girl, yes. Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, Ace of Cups. This is very healthy, fresh, new. And the Nine of Wands is here, but it feels like bravery today. It feels like very spontaneous, but good, like in a good way. Ten of Pentacles is the everything card. Ace of Cups. This is new love or renewed love with someone. This is taking that leap of faith. I feel like you just say yes and you line up with this person. It's, it's, just, a, it's just a hard yes with the Ace of Cups and the full card. Hard yes. And you have the Ace of Wands with this. So this is someone that's very passionate about you. You're passionate about them. Uh, Ten of Pentacles. You have the Death card. Maybe dealing with a Scorpio Star card. This is a part of your destiny, but you'll have to talk it out. And you actually might have had an ending with this person before, but um, this feels very new. Who is this Emperor for you? Yeah, this is a relationship. King of Cups. Yes, love. Fuck. You have the seven of pentacles, also the ten of wands with the devil. Oh my god, this person, um, they if they've pulled back from you and you're connecting back with somebody or you haven't seen this person in a long time, they're telling me that they've worked really, really hard on being so controlling. Um, they had some controlling issues in the past, 
which basically means someone's just operating so much out of fear that they're so scared for whatever reason that they just feel like they have to like overly control everybody in their life. It's double energy. It's not healthy or good, but um, it's just a huge lack of love. And so this person has put that burden down for themselves and they've really learned how to open up um, and express their emotions in a more healthy way. Beautiful. Why is this three of cups here for Myra, please? Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. You have the sun card out now. This is amazing. So clarifying your celebratory three of cups card. You have the queen of pentacles. This is, has been worth the wait. You have learned your value and you've been very patient. Um, also, I feel like career specifically is going very well for you. And then you have the Knight of Pentacles, I'm sorry, Knight of Cups with the Ace of Pentacles. So this is a probably a love offer, um, probably more romantic Ace of Pentacles. This is feels like the real deal. This is someone who wants to, again, I'm seeing you hold your pentacle and spirit giving you this pentacle, like giving, like hand delivering you this person or situation. You're going to love it. You're going to absolutely love it. Pumpkins could be really significant to you for some reason. Um, oh my, oh my God, gorgeous energy. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous energy. You've, you've really stepped into your high power, 10 of cups, sun card, nine of pentacles. You're solid, you're abundant. This is family coming together. This is so beautiful. This is like literally the sun is out in your life. Like Get ready for some really beautiful, happy days. Um, if there's anyone else still here, I love y'all. And I, again, will catch you in the love reading or next time. Mwah. Bye.